Hello everyone, welcome to this new tutorial. In this uh, tutorial we will discuss about a uh, technique that I discovered a few days ago or uh, a workflow uh, we can say. It is about um, how to generate a uh, noise free ambient occlusion pass uh, which we, are, we will use into V-Ray. So the trick is simple. Um, we will simply use um, Manta Ray render to generate these, this um, ambient occlusion pass because uh, Manta Ray is very very um, quicker for generating it than, uh, than V-Ray. So, um, I just created a simple scene with teapots and first of all we will create a or generate a ambient occlusion pass for this scene um, uh, using V-Ray first, then we use Manta Ray you will see the difference or the difference between those two uh, renderers so in V-Ray I will create a new material I will use a V-Ray light material and put onto the light color panel a V-Ray dirt map and put the radius 2 meters so um, I will deactivate this light source and deactivate the indirect illumination and put the new material on the override material like this in instant in instance method and do a render so we see here that it's too dark simply because our control exposure control F number is too high so we have to decrease it something like 2 maybe more let's say 400 or just simply by deactivating the exposure control so as we see here um, we have our ambient occlusion pass but um, it is very very noisy as you can see so we have to Im increase or improve the our render quality by increasing increasing the ambient occlusion sample samples our subdivs here just say 32 and also our anti-aliasing filter and max up gives here six to six and do a test run so here we can see that it is much better but also the time goes up 
you can see that it's noise free and it's a clean very clean AO solution so um, the AO pass or the MBL occlusion pass is used for um, to improve um, details into our global elimination solution so it is a very important thing to add to our render This is our ambient occlusion pass using V-Ray. It took uh, one minute and a half. Um, I'll just add it to our ramp layer to compare it with the manta ray one. So let's close it. Change, first of all, our um, renderer. Set it to mantle ray like this now um, we can we have to deactivate our elimination global elimination let the resolution and create our mantle ray ambient occlusion material by creating a Arcan design, an arcade design material, and create also a ambient reflective occlusion map. Put it into the diffuse color map, and also self illumination map. Here, just set max distance to two meters let the samples for now and deactivate the reflection now go into the processing thermal and enable material override put into it our dirt material this one okay and We'll do a test render to look to see what it looks like. We we see that our render is completely black. So we just have to activate our mental ray photographic exposure. Um, and set it to something like zero here and do a test render it's still black so I forgot to activate the self illumination like this and do test render So as we can see, it's very fast and all we have to do is to decrease a little bit the exposure value, something like, and um, do a test render, it seems to be good. Increase it a little bit. Okay, it looks fine, but 
it's a little bit noisy so what we have to do is to increase the samples here something like 64 and you will see that our render time will not um, be too long see what we have to do now is to increase a little bit the anteliasing parameter Gauss filter and launch the render we see that it took only 30 seconds so you see how it is fast faster than V-Ray 1 so I will just adjust a little bit or maybe our occlusion or self-elimination or maybe the exposure by deactivating and increase a little bit the max distance let's say 4 to match the the V-Ray 1 I think it seems to be good like this let's compare it So we will use this one into Photoshop to compose it with our render. Copy it and apply it with multiply mode. And here we can see that it matches our render so here is trick to to create a ambient occlusion pass quickly and using it into a V-Ray render and generate it by using Mentoray of course I hope you enjoyed this tutorial so goodbye.